All right, now for those of you who are wondering, well, how do I work this through in my head? Well, here's how you actually walk through shock on the day of the exam. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna start with the actual patient, duh. And you're gonna ask yourself, well, is the patient pale and cool or are they warm and flush? Let's go down the right wing first. If the patient is pale and cool, all you do at that point is start with the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. If they have cardiogenic shock, it's gonna be increased. If they have hypovolemic shock, it's going to be decreased. That's pretty much how it goes. Pale and cool is essentially telling you you have two issues here. Either the issue is with cardiac output, as in cardiogenic shock, and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and fix the heart reperfusion. Remember, pulmonary capillary wedge pressure. Pulmonary capillary wedge pressure is the exact same thing, and this is what's gonna blow your mind, as left ventricular and diastolic pressure. Same thing that you saw on the previous table. So if the cardiogenic shock, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and fix the heart. If it's hypovolemic, you're gonna go ahead and give fluids and then pressors if you need to. And that's what's going to fix the patient's problems, hopefully. Now, if the patient is warm and flush, we're gonna go down the left wing, then what you wanna do is turn your attention to cardiac output. If the patient has a low cardiac output, that means that it falls under neurogenic shock. It's falling under neurogenic shock. And if it's neurogenic shock, you're going to want to go ahead and give fluids and pressors to maintain blood pressure because of a lack of vascular tone from lack of sympathetic input. If the patient's cardiac output is increased, then you have to go back to the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, which you now know as the left ventricular end diastolic pressure, and say, well, if the pulmonary capillary wedge pressure is low, this is distributive shock with an increased cardiac output or hyperdynamic state, that's anaphylaxis. If this is an increased cardiac output state with an increased pulmonary capillary wedge pressure, now you know this is septic shock. This table right here will also walk you through the exam and give you all the answers you actually need to get your shock questions right.